Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Green Family Legacy, where it is finally time for a certain little Scraps birthday! Oh my goodness, I am so excited! It is finally, finally time to have Griffin's birthday, and with Griffin, the youngest of our Generation 3 Green Family Legacy members, finally reaching childhood, we are also going to begin a new era in our Legacy Friends. A new era where I am finally as soon as this little kid manages to blow out his birthday candles, going to go ahead and I am going to allow everybody in the whole world to age, which means that we might finally be coming up on the end of generation one <laughs> with Tate and his wife and Iris and then Lily and her wife, Zoe. Things are gonna get a little bit interesting pretty soon because um, yeah, I, I've been putting down my, uh, I've been putting down the brakes on being able to say goodbye to our first generation. But now that Griffin is ready to age up and I really wanna see his future as a grown up paranormal investigator come to life, I wanna see Fern be able to maybe make some progress and consider if she's going to carry on the legacy. She's not like into kids right now, but maybe, you know, she's developing and changing noise I didn't expect. I'm ready to see the kids grow up and I'm ready to see like progress happen in their lives, which means that I am ready to turn aging back on so that Tate and Iris might actually pass away of old age. Okay, it's been so many years. It's about time we managed to like have that happen, uh, but I still have to brace myself for it. But all right, so we're back. We are back on the family farm, my friends. It is a very cloudy day, but it is still a beautiful, beautiful place here at the Green Family Estates. <gasps> Look! Look at this! Grandpa's actually stopping by. Tank Green is actually here. Let's go ahead and have Fern. Um, Fern, did you just end up with two of these bikes? Did you, like, glitch out? Okay. Okay, put this bike back in your inventory and then come over here, Fern. And she just literally rode from the train station on her bike to the house. And I'm going to have her... Is he, like, inside? Let's let's go ahead and we're going to brighten day. Um, because we want to spend a little bit of time with our grandpa. And he's walking by maybe to say hello uh, on little Griffin's birthday. But we are back. So this is the Green Family Estates. It is a beautiful summer day. Uh, the family hasn't really been working on the farm of late. But we do have a whole bunch of beautiful spliced plants. We've got dragon fruits galore. We made so much money off of these guys. Hopefully they will mature for us pretty soon. And then we also have a beautiful greenhouse that's got a whole bunch of plants inside. I really need to spend more time here so these will grow up so that I'll be able to have whatever like mysterious beautiful flowers they're supposed to start producing. We've also got a whole bunch of berry plants down the side. Which ones are these? Are these all our blackberries? Oh these are all like the perfect blackberries that fern can gather comes from. Um, and we have a beautiful rose garden over here. Very lovely. And slowly but surely, this side of the world has been replaced. These plants are being replaced with some actual flowers we can harvest. And then, of course, we have the main... Oh, no! We lost another one! <laughs> We have the main stars of the show are cow plants, which I really need to spend more time tending to and taking care of, apparently. But since Fern is now visiting, hopefully she'll be able to help out with the cow plants as well. We've even got the little, like, oh, look, and it's all her mushrooms. Oh my gosh, there's just stuff everywhere. Oh, and I forgot we got a money tree, that Devin got a money tree. Oh, we got to take care of that too. Heck, so the farm is a little bit scattered and akimbo right now because Fern, when she lived here before she quote unquote left for college, cough cough, she really helped to keep everything in order and keep it all nice and tidy and worked with the ghost of her great aunt Allison that she can see, the adults in the house, well I guess Fern's an adult now, but her parents like Devin and, and Pine can't actually see the ghost of great aunt Allison, um, but the ghost of great aunt Allison and Fern used to take care of the entire farm together and try to keep it somewhat in order. So now that Fern has left, that's actually gotten very difficult for her family to keep up with, especially because her father, Pine, 
who is currently working on making a birthday cake here inside of the kitchen so that little Griffin will be ready to blow out his birthday candles. Uh, and we'll th we should set a party and start throwing him a party today too. But, um, well, should we do that? Maybe. We might host an event. We'll, we, in fact, we m probably will because having family events is very important to Pine. But Pine is in here baking a chocolate birthday cake for his son. Then Devin is upstairs, and Devin actually has a deadline for another one of the books digging into bad business that she needs to finish. It's called Cleaning the Glass Ceiling. And so Devin is pecking away at her project right now where she is trying to complete uh, a manuscript, really ripping into illegitimate businesses that try to take advantage of unwary customers and use like bad legal loopholes. She's all about busting that kind of nonsense. And as you can see, Devin has all of these awards that we have won. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight awards that we have won from Devin getting into the assistant manager track. And then having a chance card pop up where she'll get fired if she turns the business in for like fraud and dubious use of income. But she has done that seven times now, which means that we have managed to get ourselves fired seven times, but we've taken the evil business down with us. And so Devin has actually become extremely famous. She's almost four star celebrity now after like hanging out with a bunch of celebrities when it, her manuscript was up to possibly win an award. But she's become extremely famous like for tearing apart these bad businesses and she's developing her own brand where now people hire her to make sure that there's nothing nefarious going on in different company corporations and she has found a lot of problems and helped to shore up many businesses and thanks like much to their stockholders either delight or drama and she's well known for trying to work for honesty and integrity um which is going to be a little bit tricky since her daughter is going to have to face the fact that she has not been honest with her parents for so long. So don't worry about how I determined this behind the scenes, guys, but I did take uh, our wonderful Fern's charisma skill, her non-existent research and debate skill, and her logic skill, how far up she is on her career track, which is actually she's at the sixth level now of being a eco-engineer out of 10. And I took her non-existent fame, mixed it all together, and gave her a point value for how strong her arguments against her mother may be. And then I took Devin's, like, fame, I took her charisma, logic, and her actual, I thought that Fern would be safe from, you know, her mom not having uh, a research and debate skill, but it turns out Devin has one point, almost two, in research and debate. <laughs> So good luck, Fern. Um, but I took Devin's charisma, logic, research and debate, her job and her fame and gave her a point value for how strong her arguments against her daughter, having lied about going to college um, and having basically lied to them all semester for her entire first, almost, almost second, I'll say. So almost for a whole year's worth of college, like Fern's been lying and just staying in Evergreen Harbor and hasn't come clean to her family. And today she's going to have to do that. And we're going to figure out how that's going to pan out. But first, we're going to give the family some time to reunite, hang out, see how everybody's doing. The second daughter Amber is actually settling in right now to go ahead and read Sleep Less, Jog More, a emotional and energized book by world-renowned sleeprunner Gladys McLean, describing how she conquered her insomnia and transformed her sleep disorder into exercise. Uh, and that definitely is something that the very driven, very, very... Um, scholarly oriented Amber is excited to learn about. Amber's desire is to become a world-renowned surgeon at some point in the future because for her running into the ghost of great aunt Allison in the Green family farm was actually very upsetting and she didn't like the idea of ghost. She didn't like not because of the supernatural part of it but because it made her think about death at a very young age and so now she is really locked onto like everything medical health wise that she can get her hands on and 
she wants to become a famous doctor so she can tell people what to do, basically. She's a little bossy. She takes a lot of that from her mother. And she wants to be able to really make big waves in the medical community. And she just sees her future as being like the star of the medical world. And so she's working on that right now. And she's extremely jealous that her sister actually was the first one to go to the extremely prestigious university she was sent off to. So she's been just boiling over with jealousy and getting ready for a special student exchange program that she wants to take part in. We'll talk more about that when she gets a little bit of a side story time herself. And Aspen over here, Aspen, our boy Aspen, has a hard time with being able to focus um, sometimes on reading at least. Aspen's really cool. He actually has dyslexia and so we're trying to figure out how to add that into the gameplay. And it's a reflection of how his father Pine really struggled with any traditional career route as well. However, with Aspen, he's very detail oriented and he's really good at watching people. And that might play out very well into his love of mysteries. He really loves getting to the bottom of a puzzle. He loves getting to the bottom of why people behave the way they do. He's not super social. He just really likes things. He enjoys music a bit um, because he really likes the way that this, you know what to do in music. You know the steps. But he's not really that interested in things like programming and other things that require like a ton of math and a ton of reading. He just really likes places and situations where he can investigate and he can kind of make connections between details that other people might miss. So I gave you guys plenty of hints about what his future is probably going to be. Also, he cannot bake because he is a child. That's unfortunate. It would be so cute to watch him make some cupcakes. But all right, so that's kind of the update on the family. Toby, the dog, already greeted his beloved Fern, who is his owner, uh, earlier, and he was so excited to see her. He ran up and was the first one to greet her, which I thought was adorable. And great Aunt Allison's doing great. She's just hanging out on the back porch, rocking in the swing, the little rocking chair that totally quote unquote moves in the wind, but is totally actually her like rocking back and forth. And I think we're ready to go. All right, let's see what we should do here. Fern, put that bike away. Like, I don't know, uh, there's so many bikes now. Wait, is this your bike? Did you get two bikes now because you like glitched out? Look, I'm not gonna ask questions. Huh. Okay, so no, stop, what are you doing? Stop trying to ride your bike. Okay, you know what, you just lost bike privileges. I'm gonna have her put it in her inventory again. These bikes just drive me absolutely batty. I swear my dear. Stop that. Stop it. Oh my gosh, these bikes. Oh my gosh, these bikes. Your grandpa is now gone because you don't drag your feet around here, lady. I have no idea what you're up to, but come on, put both those bikes in your inventory. Fern. Okay, she is absolutely dragging her feet for going into the house. Um, okay, I'm going to drag this bike out here so she can't touch it for just a minute. And then Fern also brought gifts of special candles that she made to visit with her family. Fine, if you're going to go, go greet your grandpa then, for crying out loud. Um, go give him like a big hug. Brighten his day. I wonder if she'd bare her soul and tell him her secrets and be like, yeah, um, uh, maybe complain about the, crow the, the cloudy weather. You haven't seen your d deep personal conversation. You haven't seen your grandpa in so long. Give him a loving hug. That's what you should do. Meanwhile, let me make sure. Pine, why are you going outside? No, where's that cake? Oh my gosh. Okay, thank goodness. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab this cake. Nobody can touch it for just a hot minute because that's going to be for the little one's birthday. And oh, now all of a sudden we've got him doing his homework, which is great. He usually struggles with it. Can I have him help for homework? Parenting. Um... Can I have you help him with his homework? Yeah, okay, Pine, go inside and help your kid with homework. That's important. What, I turned my back for like two minutes on this family. Okay, we're gonna have to just do the best we can. Um, this is adorable that this kid wants to play with his sister. Oh, he wants to play with his sister. All right, more choices. Can I have you 
Join public preschool. No, thank you. I didn't know I even had that. Um, actions friendly. Can I ask to play? Ask for dessert. A high chair is required. Uh, talk about favorite animal. Talk about princesses. I really, how do I have her play? Tell story. Talk about superheroes. Russell. Maybe Russell is what it is. Because that would be so cute. I want him to ask his sister to play. Let's see. Actions. Help. Ask for bath or diaper. Funny. Make funny faces. I love how cute he is. Um, oh my goodness. It's been so long. Here, let's try rustling and see what happens there. Apparently his brother wants to hang out with him too. Okay, that's fine. Meanwhile, Pine, you could, like, thankfully your son finished his homework super quick. Um, I'm going to have Pine... Should I try having an event? It's been so long since I've done these social events. Let's see what happens. We got some royalty reports. A little bit of money coming in from the books that Devin has written. Most of our money comes from the income that we can gain off of the, uh, the farm, though. And then let me see if I can find... Toddler Playdate Birthday Party. Okay, I think we can go ahead and do a birthday party. The birthday sim is going to be Griffin. And we're going to have basically the whole family as guests. And then can I add a couple more? Tate and Iris as guests. We don't need a caterer because we already have things. Okay. And then I want the birthday party to be just like at home. There we go. Right over here at the Cowberry Farm. And then, yay! All right, so we have a little birthday party event going down. This is awesome. I think I'm just going to have to, like, leave the rest of the family to their own devices and focus on Fern for a hot minute now that we're here. Oh, she's happy. She's happy and visiting. Oh, look, and she put on some cute clothes. Oh, she's visiting with her grandpa. Yay, he is here for the birthday party. That's fantastic. All right, I think that she's she's actually really excited. Maybe seeing grandpa was like one of the best things we could do. And then let's share Griffin's birthday spirit. I think we can't see. I can't see like the birthday party events right now because they're not gold, but there's no goals. <laughs> Maybe it's because there was a holiday at the same time. Oh, hey. Oh, Griffin just reached level four of thinking. He can ask why of other Sims. That's really cute. All right, we should go and hang out with our little brother now. So now, oh, look at how happy she is to be. She's super depressed because she's been lying to her family for so long. But she's really happy to be next to, like, her grandpa. And this is a great loving conversation. That makes me really happy. Um, Let's give him one more hug. I wonder if we can enthuse... Let's... In fact, here, let's actually... He, I have a feeling he'd be like, so what have you been up to, dear? And I think without saying she hasn't been at college, we can Good try on. enthusing about fabrication for a second. And let's see if Grandpa might be able to give us, like, a cool tip. That's so cute, the way she's describing it. All right, we didn't get... Uh, is being a ma is it really being a maker if we never cut the drywall? I bet you could design and mount a great wall light. Oh, cool. So we unlocked the fabricated wall light recipe, which I thought we already had. But I like how, like, her, his gran her grandpa had something to say. And look, here's Iris. She's just talking over here talking to the plants so let's go ahead and brighten her day it's been so long since we've seen our grandparents and fern really loves them and then maybe complain about heating cost <laughs> deep personal conversation and then let's flatter her for her her artsy dress Hello. iris does like bright colors after all i really should get some different kinds of umbrellas Wow, everybody is all dressed up for the birthday party, I think. Um, maybe I have a modded birthday party and I just didn't realize it. Um, whoa, Amber! <laughs> we didn't need to wear formal clothes for a little little kid's birthday party. I think I may have... I may have started the wrong kind of event, perhaps? Um, was there another option? I have no idea. I wonder. Let me try canceling this. 
And I think we'll just work on these kinds of things, baking, swimming, opening presents, party spirit. Um, we definitely don't need to be wearing super fancy outfits. It's a toddler's birthday party. Let's, let's, let's tone this down a little bit, guys. Like seriously, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be around the house. We're just gonna be chilling. All right, there we go, Pine. Okay, this is, this is, this is more like it. This is what I expect to see. And then I guess we can give Griffin uh, a little bit of TLC too. I wish I could figure out how he could ask to play. He wants to wrestle, talk about party, watch, hug lovingly, ask to read book, ask why, which is really cute. Um, cause he wants, what does little Griffin want to do? It is his birthday. He wants to take his clothes off. Go for it, kiddo. <laughs> He's a wild child. Oh, and then it looks like his sister possibly immediately stuck his clothes back on because now, now he is dressed once more. And he wants to yell at his mom probably to have Devin like come down and hang out. All right, this is a little bit chaotic. We're still just chatting over here. Let's get back inside. Let's get into the house. We'll, let's get home and we'll work from there. All right, let's go here. Gosh, this is going to be a little a little bit much. And then it's raining, but everybody wanted to go swimming. They wanted to open some gifts. Uh, open a present from any gift pile. You know, it's kind of a cute idea. Oh, Toby is stinky. <laughs> it's kind of a cute idea if we had a gift pile. So I'm going to get a gift pile. I'm going to put the toys for the dog over here. And I'm actually curious, like, what would a gift pile be? Welcome gifts, moon gifts. So how would you make a gift pile? I guess just under a tree? Okay, hang on. Aha, uh -huh, so they're called presents. They are a pile of presents. So let's actually go ahead and put some presents down for little Griffin, because uh, it is his birthday. And I like the idea that maybe the gifts we open that don't quite match like things for him, we'll go ahead and say, are gifts that the adults can they will sell those items and then get gifts that do fit him basically all right griffin what are we gonna give you here you go big box of, oh yeah your mom would do this because his mom is a bit of a snob that's one of her traits and she would want to have a big gift pile for her son to be able to enjoy um and then we want to have some party spirit so let's come let's can i do some party spirit with yeah let's do some party spirit with the little guy Let's go ahead and maybe, we don't want to praise him for like running around half naked, but that's okay. And then let's get Fern home. And we'll just work, we'll focus on Griffin and Fern for a hot minute. And he wants to yell at his mom. He still wants to take his clothes off. I'm going to let him go ahead and do that again. Because he's a wild little one. And then Toby is stinky. Everybody else is busy. <laughs> a full house like this always is a little interesting. The family ghost has come in to be part of the experience. Only the kids can see her. Oh, little Griffin's climbing up there to have fun too. All right. And somebody, is she still working? Yeah, she's still working. So I think she's going to be locked up with her manuscript until the end. And we're finally almost home. Also, there's a trash plant. We had a trash plant here the whole time. Oh my gosh. All right, we're finally home, my dear. Come on in and let's hug the family. Uh, like, here we go. I know Pine would jump up immediately because he loves his family and be like, Fern, you're home. All right, let's go ahead and um, let's maybe give her a big hug. Pine loves his kids. Hug lovingly, dive in for it. And then I think that an excited little kidlet would come over and maybe blow some horns at his sister. Uh, there we go. And he can bring up embarrassing moments. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that the siblings could do that to each other. There he goes. Mr. No Manners running around. He just really loves his little wild treat of taking his clothes off. Yay. Oh, and oh now, now she's sad because she has to face her dad. All right. Well, let's try having a little bit of the party spirit. Um, let's see. So let's see. Complain about Griffin's birthday? No, party spirit. Um, maybe a bit of gossip about the birthday. 
this little kid just does not seem to be able to finish his desire to run around. Uh, <laughs> now we're just joking about not having a lot of commitments. Alright, no, Griffin, you stay inside! <laughs> He's so bad about running around outside uh, on top of being naked. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go see what our little sibling's up to. It's been a hot minute since we've seen you, kid. We're going to make you put your clothes back on in just a second. He is running for just... He's running for it. Yep. To be honest, this would be how he would spend his final moments as a toddler. Also, what an accomplishment. Devin finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to her inventory for future reading enjoyment. Uh, all right, good. So Devin now has finished her book. She's feeling super confident. And she's ready to go downstairs and greet her daughter, who hasn't been here in a super long time. But first, I'm going to let... I'm going to let Fern go ahead and try to catch her little brother once he finishes having his little energized run. Because he is definitely... He is definitely feeling a little bit rambunctious. Oh, there we go. See, he managed to finish that. For some reason, it didn't fulfill his whim. Um, and he wants to yell at his mom. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and hug this little kidlet. And then see how he's doing. All right, come on, Fern. It's been so long since we've seen your brother. We're just following him. Look, he's so proud to, like, guide us around the house. Ah. Uh, well, at least we're home. What? Who's singing? <laughs> Pine singing probably birthday songs. Look at everybody's here. All right. I know what this means. That means that, um, oh, what should we do? Like, ask about day? Uh, I feel like, ask about future plans. Boom. <laughs> Devin would immediately do that. She'd be like, oh, Fern, darling, there you are. How's your college event going? What? There's a scout meeting. We're going to have to miss it today. Devin's not going to let her daughter off the hook here. She's just going to dive in, ask about future plans. I wonder why she's working on building up skill-wise. Oh, it's so hard to control this many sims. All right, let's see. Come on, let's celebrate. Let's we're, we'll focus on the baby to like try to dodge all of the current events. We need to party spirit, open presents, go swimming, bake, um, and then maybe we can reply to our mom. What's she doing now? Chat with Devin. Yeah, Devin's talking about it now. Maybe we can reply with getting to know mostly to be like oh you know i'm just here for little griffin's birthday party heck this is gonna be harder than i thought look at this little guy <laughs> let's let him look at his big old pile of presents there we go yep Devin is like diving in talking about those future plans fern is trying very hard to redirect have a little bit of that party spirit how do we have more party spirit um drink dance play an instrument flirt or sing uh, I think, oh, we could have everybody practice singing to sing to Griffin, like, so we can open some little presents. We should have the presents open when he's a little kid, of course. Okay, you know, this is going to be easier to enjoy our time with Griffin if he does actually age up. He loves opening gifts, and he would love to go swimming. That would be so much easier to do if he was all grown up. We're going to let him do a couple more little things that a little kid might like to do as a toddler. Can he yell? He wants to yell at his mom. That's just a want that he has. So let's let him try that out. He's always wanted his whole life to try really hard to hit. Oh, that face. <laughs> Look at him. And now he wants to change his clothes and he wants to watch Devin from being a toddler, which is just so cute. Look at that little face. Oh my gosh. All right. Change your little clothes, little one. I want to fulfill just a couple more of his wants. Does he want- he wants to hit Allison again! <laughs> From being a toddler, I swear, I swear. He wants to ask his brother for dessert. He wants to watch his mom to see how she's going to react uh, to having it yelled at her. So let's watch her for a second. He's a content little guy. And now he wants to talk about party with Devin! <laughs> 
Which is so cute. Okay, and then we can let's talk about the party to be like, is it really our birthday party? All right, let's talk about party. He saw how Devin didn't react to her him yelling at her, possibly learned some good traits at being patient. We are not going to go to the scout meeting because I want these kids to stay here. And then let's change outfit. You two get to stay! Everybody, you must hold still. Okay, and then let's see. Gosh, there's so many things to do. All right. There we go. Griffin's doing good, doing good. He wants to talk about the party with his mom. Let's let him do that real quick. Yeah, it is your birthday party, little guy. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna miss this this little tyke. It's been amazing just like being with him while he's so teensy tiny. But now is the time to go ahead. I might let him try one more time to hit Great Aunt Alice and the Ghost. Which, you know, his parents are just gonna be like, oh, he's just playing with his imaginary friend again since they can't see her. All right, there we go. You can't hit a ghost, little guy. And now let's do this. He wants to ask his brother for desserts. So that's really, really cute. Um, let's actually put out the cake now and we will have the cake blown out. In fact, let's see. I've got an idea. We're gonna have the whole family. Yeah, let's go blow out the cake. That'll be easier to do that first. Yo, there's so much. All right, let's go ahead and open this up and then we're gonna grab, where's, <gasps> oh, thank goodness. Okay, the, the cake is still here. I was so worried. I was like, wait, who moved my cake? <laughs> I need that cake. Oh my gosh, I need that cake. All right, look, we're gonna come over and add birthday candles. Center of table or counter. Okay, is this? Okay, add birthday candles. Let's do this, guys. We're gonna try to drag. Oh, I know, everybody, join a group. Why haven't I been doing group settings from the beginning? And we'll go ahead and say, since... Add to group, add to group. Since Fern has finally gotten home and it is just as absolutely chaotic as I remember, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get this birthday done. And then today we will at least age up the little one. Technically we could go ahead and, uh, there's grandma, she's walking by. Is grandpa somewhere nearby? If I see Tate, I'll add him back in too. All right, there's the birthday thing. Go here together. And then let's go ahead. And we are going to help blow out candles with Griffin. Let's see how this works. If we can get the whole crew in here. There's Toby. All right, we got a couple people. So far, so good. Toby's really excited about what might be in the trash. We've got, where on earth did you get that, Allison? Allison managed to get a party drink that she probably just rummaged up from some hidden part of the house. And then, let's see, what do we have here? Just chatting. And we're gonna help little Griffin to the cake! Oh no, it's the last time he's gonna be holding a toddler child of his own. Pine! You've aged, you've aged. It's so hard to, like, watch your... Oh, no, 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 don't hug. We need, we need this birthday cake blown out. Okay, go here together, you geese. And then, no, no, pick that kid back up and help him blow out his candles. And look at how happy Pine is being close to his family. Oh, look, and meanwhile, Fern is having a breakdown because she's feeling so guilty about all of this. Oh, boy. Hold it together just a little bit longer, Fern. All right, hang on. All right, you two, hold still. We've almost got it, guys. Birthday parties are just, look at Allison. She's just having a great time. I think Allison loves that the house has just gotten so full of personality and people. Um, meanwhile, let's come over. Can I like throw confetti like Allison just did to celebrate? All right, all the rest of you are gonna hold still because you're all going to practice your singing. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Birthday time! Celebrate time! 
All right, I think we got it. I actually managed to keep the family in place long enough that we can get this birthday party going. Wow. Okay. Headline, let's see. We're gonna turn off the headline effects for a hot second. <gasps> Is he, look at him, he's like fire! He's already diving for it, even though, even though, like, everybody is still coming in. Oh, did he already blow that little cake out? <laughs> Griffin, you didn't even wait for like two seconds. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. Of course Griffin would blow the candles out before his family was ready to like see what's going on. Do not eat that birthday cake. Do not eat the cake from Devin. Don't. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Oh, I know. I know. <gasps> Locked door for everyone. <laughs> you all are holding still for two seconds. <laughs> everyone, hold still. Watch the baby grow up, please. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, Griffin. It's his time, friends. And he has aged up. All right, so Griffin has aged up. He's got mental, motor, social, and creativity too already. And he doesn't. Ha he has something that he needs to replace the wild trait with. Honestly, I feel like it would be the the rambunctious scamp trait for sure and then he we need to pick a trait for him oh geez okay so i'm gonna roll a dice and if it's a one uh, basically i'm gonna roll a dice and decide if he's gonna inherit a trait from his mother his father or a trait of his very own and he actually inherits one of pine's traits so let me think uh, no, actually, that's one of Devin's traits. Okay, so we're going to give him one of Devin's traits, and she is very self-assured, uh, and it makes her pretty confident. Let's, let me think, let me think. Or actually, adventurous! <gasps> no, we're going to give him adventurous, because he definitely wants to seek out new and unique experiences all on his own. That is 100% him. And give me just a second. And there we go, you guys. Welcome Griffin Green to your childhood, which he seems to be diving into with gusto. And holy cow, that took me way too long, but I have finally managed to go ahead and get everybody rounded up and shoved into a room. I will have to remember that you really need to like isolate everyone. But now that Griffin has gone ahead and grown up and everyone's digging into the birthday cake, which hopefully he will enjoy himself in just a minute, it's actually going to be time to go ahead and have the rest of the Green family story start to move on. Now that a certain someone is going to need to try to come clean with her parents about where she's actually been. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I know this was a little bit like chasing a bunch of cats and trying to herd them into place, but honestly it was just because I was getting used to having a full house of Sims on this sprawling estate once again. Next time we're going to focus on our lovely, lovely Fern, and we're going to see if she's actually going to be able to quell her mother's fury and manage to talk her parents into all of the cool things she's been doing with her experiments and the new way initiative and yeah the fact that she totally blew like no doubt the twenty thousand dollars that they spent on her first semester of college and kind of lied to them and probably got herself blacklisted from brightchester um she's got to come clean about all that and we're gonna actually use the little like random random numbers that I assign to both Fern and to her mother Devin and I'm going to roll a random generator to see how their argument or agreement works out next time and then from there we'll have to see if Fern decides to stay for the rest of her brother's birthday or if she will leave to go to Starlight Accolades and see if potentially Kelsey did manage to win an award for all of the hard work that she's been doing for the New Way Initiative. Will she stay with her family? Will she back Kelsey? I think it's all going to turn out to, it's all going to be determined on how the conversation goes with her parents next time. So if you guys could do please leave a like for Griffin who I'm so tickled by. Look at this kid. He is just ready to cause some trouble, and he looks so much like his dad and his brother. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!